Thank you for joining us here on our set of Unraveling Life's Knots. Please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your background and what inspired you to start volunteering in mediation, especially with kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm Nia. I've been working with the center for about three years now. Um, I just graduated from American University School of International Service and my concentration was justice, ethics, human rights. Um, so I'm kind of interested in like justice and that's how I got into doing mediation. I remember I was sitting in a lecture um, on restorative justice during a pre-law summer program and the, um, the dean of the law school talked about how when she had two students from New Zealand um, they said that the legal system in the United States seems like it's about who wins or who loses. And when she asked them about what their system was like, they said justice. Um, and so I kind of got really into a sort of justice after that. And so I, I did a, um, a Google search of restorative just justice organizations near me. And on some obscure website, I found the center. Um, so I sent an email and I've been volunteering ever since. How long has that been now? Um, three years. Cool. And so now that you've been with us for a while, what does your day to day look like here with us at CRCMC? Yeah, so during the school year, I primarily do school cases. Um, so for the school system, we're usually in middle schools or high schools, and the main service we offer is mediation. Um, so if students get into a physical fight, um, a verbal disagreement, or there's like drama between friends or relationships or um, students are having trouble in the classroom kind of getting along with the teacher, we can kind of handle those conflicts, help the students move forward. Um, and then we also do lunch bunches, so it's kind of like during lunch we do little workshops with students on conflict resolution um, or loosely related topics. And how do you measure the impact of your work with children in conflict resolution? Um, so I think there's kind of two different ways. There's the hard data way, I guess, so we do evaluation. So after mediation, we kind of, um, we have the students fill out a survey to see what they thought about the experience. And we also do follow-ups. So after we do a mediation, we'll check in with the students to see if their agreement is being upheld. But there's also kind of, I guess, the less official way, um, kind of how the interactions go with the students moving forward. So for example, some students will see in the hallways and they'll actively, you know, wave at us or greet us, and some will come in and check, check in with us kind of proactively. Um, and when they start doing that, I kind of think that's when the real impact has been made. And what advice would you give to someone who's interested in volunteering in mediation and conflict resolution with children? Um, I'd say with children, approach them with the goal of trying to make them feel heard. So you're not necessarily going in trying to solve their problem at first. You're trying to go in and make them feel heard and then hopefully um, getting the other party or the other group to also hear them. Um, I think that's a large part of why conflict occurs is because of miscommunication. Um, and so at that age, kind of especially pushing that effective communication is the most important thing. And how has volunteering in this capacity either changed or influenced your own perspective on the road? Mm -hmm. um, I think I would say that conflict resolution is a learned skill. Um, it's not something that we're inherently born with. and. I think that it needs to be taught more, and one of the ways that as a center we're trying to do that is through mediation and through the workshops, um, so that as these students grow to being adults, um, they'll know how to deal with the conflict themselves. And what do you feel like, through everything that you've worked on, has been the most rewarding part of your volunteer experience at the center? Mm -hmm. I definitely think, well here, I'll give you a story. So there was one mediation I had, one of the first ones. Um, it was between two students in middle school, um, and they had kind of exchanged racial um, insults towards each other. Um, and yeah, it was pretty. It was in the backdrop of 2020, like post COVID, so there was kind of heightened, um, I guess, like a racial conflict during that time. And so one student had called the other one the N word, and then one had called the other one a border hopper. Um, and that was a hard mediation. Um, I didn't feel like it went super well, but when we did the three week follow up, uh, they said they were best friends now. So that's really when I got kind of, I guess, hooked into it. Um, and yeah, I think that was.
Jesus. And so as we wrap up, is there anything that you would like to share about your journey or any message that you would like to leave for us? I would say volunteering. Go out and volunteer. Volunteer your time when you can. Um, just to give back, um, but it also might add something for yourself. Well, thank you for doing this. Thank you.